Here are the learning objectives. The learner is able to define what is probability and solve problems involving the probability of union of two events. So let us have first the review of our lessons by answering the following questions. Number one question, it is the ratio of the number of ways a certain event can occur to the number of possible outcomes. Is it A, permutation? Is it B, combination? Is it C, probability? Or D, simple event? The answer is, you are correct. It is probability. How about our second question? It consists of all outcomes that are in A or in B or in both A and B. Is it A, intersection of events? Is it B, union of events? Is it C, probability? Or D, simple event? Your answer? Yes, you are right. It is letter B, union of events. How about the third question? Jody has four cans of juice, one can of orange, pineapple, calamansi, and guyabano. She chooses one of these cans to take to school. What is the probability that she will choose calamansi? Is it A, one half? Is it B, three fourth? Is it C, two thirds? Or is it D, one fourth? Your answer is? Yes, you are correct. The answer is one over four. How about question number four? The spinner is numbered one to eight. What is the probability of a spin that results in a number less than 4? Is it A, 1 fourth? Is it B, 3 over 8? Is it C, 3 over 4? Or D, 1 over 8? Your answer is? Yes, it is letter B, 3 over 8. Let's take question number 5. Leo tossed two coins simultaneously. What is the probability of tossing two heads? Is it A, 1 fourth, B, 3 over 8, C, 3 over 4, or letter D, 1 over 8? Your answer is? Yes, you are correct. It's letter A, 1 over 4. These questions are related to our topic for today, which is on solving problems involving probability of union of two events. The illustration is shown on the right. The union of two event A or B written as A union B is an event occurs when either or both events occur. To find the probability of union of two events, let us use the general formula. So the general formula is equal to the probability of A union B or A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Here are the ways to solve word problems. 1. Understand the problem. 2. Identify the given and find a strategy to solve the problem. 3. Solve the problem. And 4. Look back and reflect the solutions. So now, are you ready? Let us have the first example. Find the probability on a number cube rolling a 4 or an even number. So to find the probability of rolling a 4 or an even number, let us have the equation, the probability of 4 or even is equal to finding first the probability of rolling number 4 plus the probability of your even number 
minus the probability of their intersection which is 4 and even. Take note that 4 is also an even number. So let's take the probability of your first event which is rolling number 4. And the results are, for the probability of rolling number 4, we have 1 over 6 plus the probability of rolling an even number is equal to 3 over 6 minus their intersection which is finding the probability of 4 and even. So 1 over 6 plus 3 over 6 minus 1 over 6 is equal to 1. Now let's have example number 2. A card is drawn from a deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of each. So let's have drawing a king or a heart. So the working equations we have finding the probability of king or heart is equal to the probability of event A which is probability of getting king plus the probability of event B which is getting heart minus the probability of their intersection which is king and heart. So the probability of king is equal to 4 over 52 plus the probability of heart which is 1 fourth minus the probability of king and heart which is 1 over 52. So simplifying the equations, the answer is 4 over 13. So let's proceed to example number 3. Of 1,560 students surveyed, 840 were seniors and 630 read a daily paper. The rest of the students were juniors. Only 215 of the paper readers were juniors. What is the probability that a student was a senior or read a daily paper? So to solve this problem, let us have first the Venn diagram for seniors and those who read papers. So here, the given is there are 215 paper readers. So let us find first the number in the overlapping region. So to find that, we will subtract 215 from 630. And this is the number of the senior paper readers which is 450. Now let's find out the probability of senior or read paper. So the equation becomes the probability of your event A which is senior plus the probability of your event B, which is who reads paper, minus the probability of their intersection, which is senior and reads paper. For the probability of the senior, there are 840 out of 1,560, plus the probability of who reads paper, we have 630 over 1,560, minus their intersection, which is 415 over 1,560. And that is equal to 1,055 over 1,560 or equivalent to 0 0.676. So the probability that a student was a senior or read the daily paper is about 67.6%. Now, it's your turn. Let us find the probability of union of two events by answering the following questions. 1. Find the probability on a number cube when rolling an odd number or a number greater than 2. 2. Of 160 beauty spa customers, 96 had a hair styling and 61 had a manicure. There were 28 customers who had only a manicure. What is the probability that a customer had a hair styling or a manicure? And number 3, what is the probability of choosing a club or a heart? So you have a one minute to answer the following questions.
Okay, so time's up. Now, let us find out the answers or the solutions to the following questions. For number 1, so the probability of rolling an odd number or a number greater than 2 is equal to 5 over 6. While for number 2, the probability of a customer that had a hair styling or a manicure is 31 over 40. And for number 3, the probability of choosing a club or a heart is equal to 1 half. So now, on your notebook or in a clean sheet of paper, try to solve the problem below. Do not forget to show your solutions and you may pause this part of the video. I know you can do it! So for your assignment, do not forget to write your answers in your notebook and show your solutions. So these are the questions. 1. Consider rolling a fair six-sided die. In a single roll, what is the probability of rolling a 3 or an odd number? For 2. What is the probability of drawing a card from a deck that is either a diamond or an ace? Assume a standard 52 card deck. And for number 3, a card is drawn from a standard deck, find the probability of drawing a heart or a 7. There you have it, my dear learners! Congratulations once again for a job well done! I hope you've learned a lot from this video lesson. With that, thank you and have a great day ahead!